hello guys welcome to another comparison video in this video you will see a comparison between msi mag b650 tomahawk wi-fi motherboard versus gigabytes b650m aorus elliot ax wi-fi motherboard so let's start with the comparison so that you can decide which motherboard you should choose from all the three motherboards supports amd ryzen 7000 series latest desktop cpus which has socket am5 tomahawk and Gigabyte both comes with 4 DDR5 RAM slots supporting up to 128GB DDR5 RAM. MSI claims to support RAM speeds up to 6600MHz in OC mode but we will take it as 6600MHz as it's mentioned specifically in the frequency list. Gigabyte supports up to 6666MHz in OC mode. MSI supports HDMI 2.1 with HDR maximum resolution of 4K 60Hz and display port 1.4 with maximum resolution of 8K 60Hz. Gigabyte has one display port supporting a maximum resolution of 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels at 144Hz and one HDMI port supporting maximum resolution of 4096 pixels by 2160 pixels at 60Hz. B650 Tomahawk has two PCI Express 4.0 x16 slots and one PCI Express 1 slot. Slot 1 supports up to 16x from CPU. Slot 2 supports up to x2 mode from chipset. Slot 3 is a PCI 3.0 and supports x1 mode from chipset. Gigabyte has one PCI Express x16 slot from CPU supporting PCI 4.0 and running at x16 mode and one PCI Express x16 slot supporting PCI 4.0 and running at x4 from chipset. In terms of storage, MSI has three M.2 slots, slot 1 and 2 supports up to PCI 4.0 x4 mode from CPU and slot 3 supports up to PCI 4.0 x4 from chipset. It also has six SATA ports. Gigabyte offers two M.2 slots. First, M.2 supports up to PCI 5.0 x4 mode and x2 mode from CPU. Second, supports up to PCI 4.0 in x4 and x2 mode from CPU. It comes with four SATA ports. MSI has Realtek RTL 8125B 2.5 Gbps gigabits per second LAN port. Gigabyte also has Realtek 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet LAN port, however, the exact model is not known. In terms of audio, MSI is equipped with Realtek ALC4080 codec and supports SPDIF output. Gigabyte is also equipped with Realtek audio codec, but the exact model is not mentioned, also supports S-PDIF output. MSI is equipped with Wi-Fi 6E. And wireless module is pre-installed in the M.2 key E slot. However, note that Wi-Fi 6E 6 GHz band may depend on every country's regulation and will be ready in Windows 10 build 21 H1 and Windows 11. MSI also has Bluetooth 5.2 and Bluetooth 5.2 will be ready in Windows 10 build 21 H1 and Windows 11. Gigabyte has AMD Wi-Fi 6E RZ616 with Bluetooth 5.2 for PCB Revision 1.0 motherboard and Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX210 with Bluetooth version 5.3 for PCB Revision 1.1 motherboard. MSI has two USB 2.0, four USB 3.2 Gen 1, three USB 3.2 Gen 2 and one USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C port. Gigabyte has two USB 3.2 Gen 2, one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2, four USB 2.0 and four USB 3.2 Gen 1. Talking about special connectors, MSI board has one pump fan header, six system fan headers, one tuning controller connector J- two addressable V2 RGB LED connectors, two RGB LED connectors, one TPM pin header supporting TPM 2.0, optical SPDIF out flash BIOS button. Whereas Gigabyte has one water cooling CPU fan header, three system fan headers, one system fan slash water cooling pump header, two addressable LED strip headers, two RGB LED strip headers, one CPU cooler LED strip or RGB LED strip header, one Thunderbolt U4 add-in card connector, 
वन टी पी एम हेडअप वन रीसेट बटन वन रीसेट जम्पर वन क्लियर सी मॉस जम्पर वन क्यू फ्लैश प्लस बटन एंड वन ऑप्टिकल एस पी डी एफ आउटपुट कनेक्टर सो दिस वॉज अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एम एस आईज मैक बी सिक्स फिफ्टी टॉम हॉक वाई फाई मदर बोर्ड वर्सेज गीगा बाइट्स बी सिक्स फिफ्टी एम ऑर एस एल इट ए एक्स वाई फाई मदर बोर्ड बी अदर डिफरेंस इज दैट दी एम एस आईज बी सिक्स फिफ्टी टॉम हॉक वाई फाई मदर बोर्ड इज अ फुल ए टी एक्स मदर बोर्ड फेर एस गीगा बाइट बी सिक्स फिफ्टी इज अ माइक्रो ए टी एक्स मदर बोर्ड I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, do click on that like button and also share this video with the community group so that they can also help or get benefit from this video and decide which motherboard they should choose from. And if you also want to see more videos like this, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification icon. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.